We have just given uh, a few, few more minutes to, for extremely short questions and extremely short answers. But, uh, so I will try to, to manage through this, but it's very extremely short. It's maximum one minute from the questions. But first, I think it's Mr. Angner who has asked for the floor, so thanks. Thank you, Chairman. Well, I've learned a new thing today. There is such a dish as barnacle pate. Uh, so maybe we can push that and the boats won't have to go to sea quite so much. Uh, we're too, um, of course, men and women could scrape them off. Uh, we're three years behind the Agri-Committee on this, and I was worried at the time because that discussion on women in agriculture created a census form with a lot of very intrusive questions, which will, may, result in, in legislation, etc. Can I remind everybody that fishing and farming are small family businesses? I am a farmer. I have three sons. That's the way it goes. I can't discriminate on genders in that business. Looking at agriculture, women gravitate to certain parts of it. They like to go to veterinary work, agronomy. And in fact, if you were to produce uh, quotas for veterinary work, you might put women out of a job. But they don't like working with machinery, maintaining it or operating it. Fishing, you're away from home for a long time. That doesn't appeal to women. Like it or not, it doesn't. And will all this red tape actually put more fish in the sea? I very much doubt it. The EU's track record in the British fisheries industry is appalling, and more gratuitous legislation on gender balancing is most unwelcome. Thank you. Thank you for this fascinating intervention.